SCP-610-L3, the destruction caused by the rapid collapse of the Site C exploration attempt during SCP-612-L2 resulted in a series of unexpected events in Site A. As the strange spherical formation in Site C was burned and destroyed, the SCP-610 infected inhabiting Site A were recorded by aerial drones going into seizures and convulsions. The immobile SCP-610 infected rapidly shriveled and died along with all of the flesh material spread across inanimate objects within the village. The mobile SCP-610 infected who were able to regain their footing all proceeded to what appears to have formerly been an upper-class residence and entered the building. As the infected entered this dwelling, it suffered a foundational collapse, revealing the presence of a sinkhole beneath it. The size of the hole in relation to the structure above it posed an impossibility for an entire building to collapse, suggesting something within the hole applied force directly to the structure, with the intent to pull it inside and expose the hole. The revealed hole is approximately large enough to accommodate three grown men standing shoulder to shoulder. Light sources applied by remote drones fail to penetrate further than four meters depth into the hole. Objects dropped into the hole do not produce an impact sound, suggesting a bottom potentially more than 1,000 meters down. Research of the exterior of the Side A hole was only able to be carried out for two hours' time. Samples of the atmosphere in Side A indicated a complete death of SCP-610-related materials. All infectious life that did not evacuate into the hole died above ground and quickly became shriveled husks. Manned exploration of Site A was approved and commenced immediately. In the span of 30 minutes, a total of three research teams consisting of two to three research staff and four to five armed escort each were dispatched and setting up stations within the remains of the village. Samples of deceased SCP-610 infected and converted matter were sent back to Perimeter HQ for processing and transport. One team was able to recover a small sample of still-living SCP-610 tissue substance from a building and pack it for research. Within the second hour of exploration of Site A, series of echo reverberation units were set up surrounding the hole with the intent of getting an accurate mapping of the hole and possible branch tunnels. At the end of the second hour before the echo units could be activated, seismic activity began to occur within Site A. Two teams of the original three remained on site, the third en route back to Perimeter HQ with samples. The third team was instructed to proceed back to Perimeter HQ when seismic activity began, and was told that Site A should not be returned to for assistance. Seismic activity at Site A capped at a 2.3 Richter level before petering off. Immediately following the seismic event, a torrent of SCP-610 spores erupted from the hole and layered the area around it for a span of 50 meters. As all staff on site were in level A hazardous materials suits, this spore burst was startling, but did not lead to any infections. As the eruption was being reported, both teams at Site A came under attack from aerial lifeforms infected with SCP-610. These organisms were captured by the remote drone video equipment, and showed extremely advanced stages of infection. It is impossible to tell what they mutated from to this present state. Many of the avian creatures attacked by splitting their heads in half, and clamping them against research members, pulling them into the air, and dropping them into the hole when possible. These avian infected proved vulnerable to small arms fire. In dispatching them, a total of two research staff were lost to the hole, and one injured due to crossfire. The injured staff was put down immediately upon showing signs of infection due to his suit breach. Before video and radio contact was lost with the remaining teams inside Site A, a second seismic event began to occur, starting out at any 1 to 1.5 range in scale. Attention was directed to the hole to prepare for a second assault. A second spore burst erupted from the hole during the rising seismic activity. At the point where the scales registered a 3 to 3.5 in force, a new unseen SCP-610 entity began to emerge from the hole. The only footage captured of this creature depicts an engorged human head, approximately 20 times larger than normal, pressing itself out of the hole with no discernible body. Video and radio contact were lost as seismic and forces increased to a 7 on the scale for two seconds duration, then abruptly ceased. Further aerial surveillance of the side A hole and area depict zero activity and no traces of the research teams or their ever having been there. All personnel and equipment are considered lost. Proceed to next document. SCP-610-L4